Tonight, from CenturyLink Field in Seattle, Washington, it's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Russell Wilson and the Seattle Seahawks taking on Baker Mayfield and the Cleveland Browns. With the beautiful Puget Sound just to our west, you get a look inside CenturyLink Field here in Seattle. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Cleveland Browns and the Seattle Seahawks. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A big pickup of 38. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. That little arc on it, he's got to find a way to get his head around and make a play on the football. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Brandon, we saw these defenders flying to the football in their win last week, and nothing has changed. They're still moving around quickly and forcing incompletions. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And nearly an interception here on their opening drive. But instead, third down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. And he finds a man. It's Olsen. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Wilson will throw again. And it's caught. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Give him back-to-back -back catches now. That one for 16 and another first down. First and goal at the one-yard line. Throwing again here, Wilson. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone for the Seahawks touchdown. Greg Olson, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Seahawks just an extra point away from time. With a little over two minutes to play in the second quarter, the offense gets ready to take over. This is the Oklahoma State alum, Chris Carson. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Brought down at the 30-yard line. Two minutes remaining in the first half, 10-7, our score. Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. It's caught inside the 25. And he takes this way down deep into Cleveland territory. You normally talk about the mobility and the accuracy first, but the arm strength, that's what can turn Russ into danger, Russ. And I tell you from our broadcast booth, because we're pretty close to the 50. We had the best view, a bird's eye view of that throw. And it was an absolute thing of beauty to watch. Never ceases to amaze me, the arm strength of these guys. And the final number of the next gen stats, that ball traveling a full 59 yards through the air. 
So a big play as it gets him all the way down to the 20 now for first and 10. That is caught inside the five. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. Russell Wilson with two first half touchdown passes as they have taken the lead. And what a weapon he is at the tight end spot because when they throw him the football downfield, they count on him getting additional yardage almost every time. And So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. They'll start out on the ground with Carson. And he's got the first down here and then some, but a penalty flag down. This could very well be coming back. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating? The guys who just gave up that play. From the gun, it's Wilson. Going for Metcalf. He's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. They give him a gain of 38. I think it's pretty safe to say that initially, they had to be thinking about trying to get into field goal range. But after that shot right there, they've got to be thinking bigger right now. And that was probably their thought offensively. If we hit this, great. Let's go for the end zone. If not, settle for a field goal. Looks like they can try to hit pay dirt. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. They finds his man, the tight end Olsen. And they are into field goal range now as he's got the first down at the 26. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. From the shotgun, Wilson forced out to his left. And he's going to keep it here. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. It's over, it's over, it's over. Well, that was something to behold there. You might expect runs like that from a kick returner or wide receiver, but that's your quarterback hitting top speed. And normally when you see guys moving this fast, it might be a fly pattern from a receiver or a toss sweep from a tailback or something like that. This was designed as a passing play, and then he got out of the pocket, and he just took off, and he just kept gaining momentum with every step. And the final clocking on the next-gen stats, look at this, 22.3 miles an hour was his top speed. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. Operating from the gun, Wilson. That's complete right around the eight. Now the Seahawks forced to use their third and final timeout as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. From the gun, Wilson. Oh, he tries to get it to Metcalf, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Grant Delpit. And his guys have got it back at the closing stage. This offense ready to get back out there as they'll have the football to start the third quarter. Now Wilson on first down. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. He's got his man on the crossing route. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Again, Wilson. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. A good action to this point in the third quarter. Just a three-point game, second and ten. He lets it fly for Lockett. It's caught inside the 25. 
And he takes this way down deep into Cleveland territory. It's a big play there for Seattle. 41 yards. And you need a big play? Go to your big play guy. Listen, that's football 101. When you have to have it, you expect that guy to step up. A lot of people call these receivers divas. Sometimes just leadership when they get in the huddle and say, get me the ball. I'm about to make a big play. From the red zone now, here's Wilson on first down. And he's got it. And the Seahawks are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. To throw again is Wilson. End zone caught. Touchdown, Seattle. Making a hat trick for Russell Wilson. Three touchdown passes now. And the Seahawks have taken the lead. You get down near the goal line, this is where having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury, and it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out against the run. He finds himself... Now the offense back out onto the field as they'll take over here in the final minute of this third quarter. On first and 10, it's Wilson. This one into the hands of Metcalf. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. First and 10 at the 37-yard line. On first down, Wilson going for Metcalf on the deep ball. That's caught inside the 20. Then he will finally be taken down. But how about that play? It's a big one on the final act of the third quarter. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Operating from the gun, Wilson. And that's going to be knocked away in the end zone. It's incomplete. The intended receiver was DK Metcalf, but it'll be second and goal. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. They'll try to run with Carson, and he will score. Touchdown, yeah, Seattle. Yeah, we Chris Carson, his second touchdown on the season. And the Seahawks find a way to stretch their lead. People always talk about one of his biggest strengths, running the football vision, and he found the spot there. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. They'll begin the drive with Carson. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. They've got a second down now as they search for a score to break this tie. They'll tussle for it, and this is going to be caught. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. 15 yards on the play, first down. Partner, they're clearly saving those timeouts, but they still have to work with some urgency to put themselves in the right position. Well, we had a number of good games in the afternoon sessions, but this Sunday nighter might top them all. We come up here on first and 10. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Here's Wilson. 
Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And this is taken in at the five. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. A game-winning field goal would be a chip shot from here. Let's see how they play it on first and goal. Now Wilson. Over the middle, that's caught by Metcalf. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Second and goal from the one. Wilson to throw. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. He has had a great game defensively. He's been east-west, north-south, everywhere. Yeah, and I love how you describe that, because to be a great defender, you have to be able to move up and back, sideline to sideline, and he's been... And he's got it. Caught in the end zone for the Seahawk touchdown. Chris Carson. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Seahawks are going to take the lead. Hey, that score deserves our respect, deserves our excitement. But I'm looking at the clock, and I'm thinking, there's a long way to go in this one. Ideally. Both offenses have been clicking in this one. A lot of points on the board. We'll see if that trend continues. Wilson wants to throw it. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Metcalf once again the target. That'll bring up second down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. The Browns will quickly use their third and final timeout as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. And this is caught. And that could seal it. It's a touchdown. The touchdown all set up by the big play one snap before, but they finish it off here with a shorter completion, this time for the score. I like how they stuck with what got them there, right? Big pass play. So now we're in the final minute of the game in the fourth quarter as this offense gets ready to take over. On first down, Carson. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feeling like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for the Seahawks, they use the favorable early schedule to their advantage as they move to 2-0. And they'll get to stay home again next week as the Pittsburgh Steelers come to town.